this new chapter and we're going to talk about government actions and their effect on the market. And what we'll learn in this chapter uh, will pretty much be rent ceilings, how minimum wage laws affect unemployment and efficiency, effects of a tax, effects of production quotas and subsidies on production costs and prices, and how markets for illegal good goods work. So let's start off with the housing market with a rent ceiling. This is a really good example and uh, really teach you about rent ceilings. So the first thing we gotta do is, of course, we gotta know some definitions. And the first definition you gotta know is price ceiling, or it could also be called price cap. And that is, well, what they are, they're, they're regulations that make it illegal to change a price higher than a specified level. So let's say that the specified level is $500. If we make it $1,000, then that's uh, legal, and uh, the, the laws prevent us from charging that price. Now, rent ceiling is pretty much when a price ceiling is applied to a housing market. So, price ceiling, you could say it's regulations, and rent rent ceiling is pretty much applying those regulations. Now, the effects of price ceiling on a market, they really depend crucially, and here I colored it blue because it's important. It depends crucially on whether the ceiling is imposed at a level above or below the equilibrium price. And we already know what the equilibrium price is because we had a lot of work done with it. So the price ceiling above an equilibrium price has no effect. And this is something that's not really important because we can't do much about that. And the reason for that being is that the price ceiling doesn't constrain the market forces. So the force of the law, which is our regulations, and the market forces, which is the effects of demand and supply, are not in conflict. And this will... Uh, what this would do is it will allow the market to work as if there was no ceiling. Now, price ceiling below equilibrium price, that has a really powerful effect on the market. And the reason being that the price ceiling attempts to prevent uh, price from regulating quantities demanded and quantities supplied. And in such cases, there are uh, conflicts between the force of law and the market forces because the law is preventing uh, quantity demanded to equal quantity supplied and that's why it's in conflict. Now rent ceiling uh, sets or a rent ceiling set below equilibrium, equilibrium rent creates three things and those three things are a housing shortage, search activity, and a black market. And in the next video we'll talk more about uh, our housing shortage and uh, we will be enlightened on how pr uh, price ceiling below equilibrium price causes a conflict. But yeah, this is going to be a nice short start video on this new chapter. And uh, please rate, comment, subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll see you guys.